Hey everyone, how are you doing? Today I'll be showing you a quick demo of how to create fairly consistent output with stable diffusion in image to image model. Right here are the final results I've got. Uh, with the, uh, it took me around 30 minutes to generate this. <laughs> As you can see, this is fairly consistent and like uh, this is something I have done a while back, but you can also see this is like really, really good as well. So I'll be just showing you a quick demo of how to do this, uh, like what are the settings you can use, right? So open your uh, uh, stable diffusion web UI uh, and then uh, open your image to image tab, right? And you can choose any video you want. Uh, so let me just show you the video I chose. So I'll be working on the same video in which I've shown just before. So this is the video I've chosen, right? You just have to convert it into a bunch of frames and I've already done that, but I'll, let me just show you the code for that as well, right? Um, so it's fairly simple. So uh, you just have to go to the folder in which uh, the video is present. And you can use FMMPEG for converting the video. I'll be sharing the code uh, for you. I'll be sharing this command. You, you just have to install FMMPEG. It is fairly simple, right? And then uh, after you convert it into a bunch of images, you just have to choose the uh, choose any of the image, right? So let's say, okay, we chose this. So and you can either use integrate clip or integrate deep boru to get the exact prompt you you can you have to use. So I'm just using integrate clip. It will take a, a bit of time. Okay, so we got it right. A woman dressed in sailor costume, posting for a picture with stuffed animals behind her and uh, teddy bear behind her. Okay, yeah, that that looks fairly simple. So I'm using the anything model. You can use uh, any model you want. I'm using the anything model. So let's say anime style. So for the anything model, the uh, main prompt or the main, uh, is anime style. So I want it also to be in 8K. I want her to have the same details. Uh, let's just keep a bunch of negative prompts as unclear, weird. Don't want it to be blurry or vague or disturbing, right? Just uh, choose. Uh, just, let's just resize it to 896. Okay, 512 896. So the with the usual image to image translation, you don't, you don't uh, exactly get consistent results. So if you go into the script tab, you get an image to image alternative test. You can use this. Uh, this will give you uh, fairly consistent results, but uh, you should mind that it will take a bit of time to process uh, rather than with the usual image to image. Uh, you can uh, get an image fairly quickly. You can uh, do the video fairly quickly, but with the alternative test, it will take us a bit of time. You just have to uncheck everything. Okay. Uh, just increase the decode scale to 1.4. Uh, decrease the decode steps to like 24. Uh, I'm going to put the CFG scale to 12. Don't want uh, it to have a lot of changes and the denoising strength to 0 0.4 or something like that. No, you just have to test around with this, but uh, it does give fairly good results. You just have to give it a minute, right? As you can see, this is giving fairly good results. You can just try out this with a different image as well. So just to see how, how uh, are we getting it consistently or not, right? Yeah, I mean, I, I personally like it. I mean, you can all, all obviously mess around with the settings. You can change the CFG scale. Uh, you can increase it and see how it performs. You can decrease it and uh, make it really closer to the original image as well. You can see this is giving more of an more, more anime output or you can decrease it and see like how it performs like COVID-7. You can also increase the sampling steps as well. 
I also turn, turn on re, uh, restore face. Right, let's just uh, see with that. Yeah, this looks fairly close and has a bit of anime uh, outlook, right? Then you just have to go to batch processing. Uh, you, you can give the, uh, in the input directory, just give the uh, input frames where you have stored all the frames, right? The output, uh, you can just create another folder. And I'll also be giving you the code to stitch it back altogether. So yeah, I just give it a minute and it will start uh, processing. Uh, this is fairly simple. I know I, I try to keep my tutorial short, uh, just you know, uh, messing around with the settings and uh, seeing what works best. Do let me know if you have any more queries and yeah, have a great day. Thank you.